So this is a three part series. On the first video, I'll be doing a plain ISO sketch without using any add-ons, just sketching the layout of our hypothetical pump house project. And then in the second video, I'm gonna go back and use the MetQ tools and insert fittings over the top of it. And then in the final video, I'll be doing a fill of materials and then adding some notes and dimensions. For those that are metric, I'll also provide metric equivalents in the upper right corner of the video. I should also mention that I'm working in a program called AbbeyCAD, which is our standalone product, which has MetQ in it. So it's a product that we sell for those that don't have AutoCAD or CAD and or for those just getting started with CAD as well. We also offer a beginning CAD class for those users. I'll leave you a link to that in the video description below. So the first thing we're going to do here is create a new drawing, control N. The one on the top is the Imperial template for non-metric users. And then we have the metric version down here. I'll be working in Imperial. The first thing we want to do is turn off our grids, which you can do down here, control G. We can also turn off the properties palette. We won't be using that today. So just working in a nice, clean working space. We're going to be working on a 11 by 17 sheet. There's a rectangle command. We type REC in and we specify the 17 up here. And then we tab and we type 11 here, press enter. So that's going to give us our sheet size. So we know the boundaries of our working area. There's a few CAD concepts that you're going to need to be aware of. One is object snapping. So when you snap to something, you're left clicking on it in order to accurately place a point. And to get you started with object snaps, just type in OS mode and set that variable to 167. This will allow us to snap to all the typical 2D snap modes in our drawing. And then the second setting, to make sure that you have turned on is Dyne mode. And Dyne mode allows us to take advantage of a tool tip that appears at the cursor. That tool tip allows us to see the distances as input the drawing. It also allows us to do what's called direct distance input, and that's pointing the cursor in the direction we need to go, typing in the distance, and then pressing enter. And keep in mind, each of these CAD commands requires you press enter after the command. All these general concepts are covered in the beginning CAD class in the link below. We're working in a one-to-one -one scale. So if we were working in a quarter scale, you'd have to scale up this paper by a certain factor. Now, if you have questions about that, just contact us directly at cadavenue.com forward slash support. I'm going to be showing you the commands in the upper right corner, just so you can familiarize yourself with those. We're going to need to change the working style or the snap style. So we type in snap style. And we change this to one. Right now it's set to zero. Snap style allows us to work in a isometric mode. And then if you press your F5 key, you'll be able to switch between those modes. So right now in the command line, we have top view, and then we have right view, left view, and then back to top view. So our project contains a well down here and up here, a holding tank. The next thing to check is your snap mode. So if you type in snap, currently it's using a half inch spacing. So we need this to be one eighth. We're just gonna change that to one eighth spacing. That's gonna allow us to draw a line every eighth of an inch or so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna press our F8 key, which puts us into ortho mode and allows us to draw straight lines. So we'll start off with the L command and we'll draw up and you can see it's snapping every quarter of an inch. The reason why it's not snapping at an eighth of an inch is because we're working in ISO mode and the angle is causing it to snap at quarter inch. So that's the line command. 
So we need to toggle into the top view. So in order to do that, it's F5 key again. And then type in EL for ellipse. And then we'll choose the ISO circle down here. And then we'll left click. And we're going to put in our first point and then kind of just eyeball in the well location. And then we're going to go ahead and just copy this with the CO command. And we're just going to copy this up here. We need to press F8 to unlock the ortho mode and allow our cursor to go in any which direction. And then we'll just left click up here somewhere. We can make the well just a little bit larger. And we can do that using the scale command. Just press four times on our space bar after selecting the grip and we'll type in the scale factor 1.25. So that's just gonna make that just a little bit bigger. We can pick this from the center to drag it around. We'll drag it here. Now we're just gonna just sketch in the pipe. Again, we need to toggle back into our right view. Remember to turn your F8 key back on again and go into your ortho mode. And we're not using the MetQ tools quite yet. We're just kind of roughing in what we need before we start putting our fittings in. So if we type the L command again, and we snap to the center, and we come up here two and a quarter. Now I should mention the snaps really help us see dynamically how far to move our cursor away from objects. So come up here two and a quarter, then we can come over this way, say about four and three quarters. Now we need to change direction and go this way. So again, we press the F5 key to toggle into our left view. And we can come down, let's say six and a half and need to toggle back into our right view again. So again, press the F5 key two times to get to the right view. We're gonna come over about two and a quarter here. And then we're gonna go down about an inch and then over about two inches or so. And then we're going to change views again. So we're just going to press that F5 key to go in our left view. Just press it once. And then we're going to come back here about five and three quarters of an inch. Now we need to connect our well to this piping system here. So we can change views again for in the left view, type L for line, and we'll just press the F5 key again to go back into right view. We'll come back down and take our ellipse, snap it from the center here, and then just simply drag it over and snap it to the end of our pipe. I can tell we're a little bit off on our paper. So if we wanted to, we could take this by the crossing going from lower right to upper left, and then do the stretch command and then stretch this down one over four or one over two for this one. And that will get that into the paper. We'll take this piping run here. We'll uh, select it by crossing. And we'll type in CO for copy and we'll left click here and we'll type 1.75. And then it's still copying it from this point. So the double of 1.75 is three and a half. So we'll just put it at three and a half and then four and three quarters. So we've got all these runs sketched in. We need to trim this corner here. We can just take it by the grip and just snap it back. Noticing this does have to come down just a little ways. It has to be in the middle of this run here and just stretch this up just a little bit by a quarter of an inch. Now we have a couple of walls that we're penetrating. There's a wall here and there's also a wall here at this point. So I'm just going to quickly sketch those in. So let's just draw a wall right about here. Again, we're going to have to change our view, the F5 key. We copy it over a quarter of an inch. I'm going to go ahead and just close the wall up. Just put a line on each end here. Now, if I want to turn this snap off because I have little control over it, I can do that with the F9 key. Just press the F9 key and that turns our snap off. And that's hatch. Select the internal points as I was doing. Just pick these two sides here. And then press OK. Now I can select the hatch and change the angle 
Let's just change this to 160. And that, that looks good. And then we'll copy this wall up. It's going through the wall right at this point here. So we'll just take it by the crossing, copy it from here. Then I'm going to do an EA to select it from the nearest point on this pipe here. Now, again, this is just a sketch. Everything we're drawing here is not to scale. Like working on a napkin. I need to define where my pumps and valves go. My pumps are actually going to go here between these two pipe connections. So this line really is a little on the large side. I could just take it and just stretch it up, which I think I'm going to do. So if I stretch it, this S command, and then I use a CP for crossing polygon, I can create a boundary for my stretch with multiple points. And take my ortho mode off again, like this. And now I can just stretch that up by, let's say, half an inch. So I need to move this up as well. It did not get stretched. Now, next, I need to put in where my pumps are going to go and where my valves are going to go. And I'm going to do that with a point command. So there's a point command, which is PO, which puts in a point. And I'm going to turn off my snap mode real quick here with the F9 key. I'm going to use the point command, with PO. And I'm going to put the location of this point somewhere along in two places. There's going to be a check valve and then a gate valve on this side. We'll just define those points in there. I'm going to type in NEA for the nearest snap. I'm just going to put a point in right about here. But as you can see, I'm not actually seeing that point. And it's because I need to type PD mode set this to 33 and that's going to make that point a lot bigger so that I can see it. So now I can just select it and then copy it. Again, press the F8 key to lock this in here and then this position the second one here. So I can take this and copy it from the midpoint here to the midpoint here, and then just move this over like so. I'll have one more check valve down here. This is gonna be a gate valve. This is gonna be a check valve and a gate valve. And I'm gonna have a check valve down here. Let's we'll copy this. Let's copy it from this point to this point, and then I'll just slide it down here. So I'm just marking where my valves are going to go. That way, when I come back with MetQ, I'll be able to know exactly where to stop my pipe. Let's do another one up here. We'll copy it from here to here. We'll just place it here. Since they're all going to be the same going this way, I don't really need to do this, but I'll just do it anyways. Do a copy. And we'll copy from here to here to here and here. So lastly, we can change this line type if we wanted to, to a dashed line type. We'll do the same to this one. It's actually called a dashed two. So to review in this video, we covered how to do a simple ISO line sketch. We set the snap style to one, which activates the ISO angle. And then from there, we could use the F5 key to toggle the different views as we input just plain lines in our drawing. And then to more easily see the distances of the input, we set our snaps active and set them to eighth of an inch, which allowed our cursor to snap at those increments. In the next video, I'll be essentially tracing this with MetQ, and then it will insert the elbows, pumps, and then I'll do a short bill of materials on those fittings as well. I hope you liked the video. It's actually a free sample taken from a online CAD course that I'm currently teaching called Shortcut CAD. There'll be about nine hours of in-depth teaching available for beginner CAD users or for users just wanting to improve their CAD skills.
and all the videos are lifetime, so you can view them whenever you wish. So check that out using the link here or in the YouTube description below.